Hi guys, Mark Kwok here. Today I wanted to try a little bit of a different episode because normally I talk about things I own, things I wanna review and let you know, hey, get this, don't get this, what have you. But today I wanna to talk about my wish list and things that I've wanted for a very long time but just can't get myself to get there. And I'm sure all of you guys have a wish list of sorts. So I do have five things that land on that list. So number one is the newest of all the things in this list. And it's something I haven't thought about for a very long time. And that is the Apple Studio Display. It's a monitor that they just recently announced. So the truth is I play a lot of video games, so I can't be using a Mac 60 Hertz monitor as my like main monitor. So it would have to be that this is a second monitor for me. And the truth is it's $1,600. Uh, actually, 2000 if you go ahead and use the, the adjustable stand, which is so expensive. And it's just not worth the price for me. That being said, I love the design of it. I love the practicality. If I never played games, this is the thing I would have. This is what would connect most perfectly into a MacBook Pro. And I have a MacBook Pro, as you guys know. So as much as I love Apple, some things I just can't get beyond, and so the Apple Studio Displays remains as one. Number two, the Balmuda Toaster. It's a $300 toaster. Yeah, just a toaster. I have like a $30 one over here and it does fine for toasting toast, but the Balmuda one looks amazing. It has kind of like this, it looks like a toaster oven, but it remains small enough to be like a toaster. Take a look at it, I'll, I'll put a link down on below, but this is something that I've thought about for a while and it just remains. I have like a little wish list on my Apple Notes and it just stays there, but I just can't get myself, especially because I don't eat that much toast, to, to spend $300 for this. One thing I will say though, is that if you wanna use it as like just a regular toaster oven, it is small and compact. So if you don't have that much counter space, I think this would be a great thing to kind of serve as your toaster, but also as your toaster oven if you use that sort of stuff often. This is the one that maybe will be on my have purchased list at some point, because it's $300, but that's not gonna like kill me. But at the same time, it's a toaster. Number three is not an item, but it's an experience. And this is something that I've been kind of wrestling with for the past five to seven years. It is a meal at the French Laundry. I live in the Bay Area. The French Laundry is like this esteemed, iconic restaurant. It's by Thomas Keller. It's been around as a three-star Michelin restaurant. And it's just something that everyone says, hey, you must go try if you are into the fine dining experience. Yes, I like the finer things in life, but the problem with food at that level, like $500 or 400 or however much it is, is that it goes through your system and then you poop it out, you're good to go, that's it. And like, that's 500 bucks, it just whew, goes away. Now, yes, I know it's an experience and I'm actually trying my best these days to take money and things and move them over to experiences. Cause that's, you know, that's what really matters in life. One thing about things is that oftentimes you can sell them or resell them, right? And so you get some of the value back even after you've purchased it. I'm trying to not think about that because a meal, obviously you can't really throw it back up to them. So I don't want it to be my ethos, but as of now, unfortunately a little bit is. Number four, this one's kind of odd, but I love hoodies. Like this is, I mean, I'm wearing a hoodie right now. This is kind of an odd one, but I love hoodies and there is no hoodie that is kind of as esteemed or as top of the line as a Laurel Piana hoodie. Cashmere, it's, it's actually kind of famous from the show Billions. If you watch Billions, Bobby Axelrod wears a bunch of hoodies all the time. He's a billionaire but it's like a nice, nice hoodie from Laurel Piana. It's not just like your average hoodie that you buy for 100 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever. A Laurel Piana hoodie is something that I would love to own one day, but honestly, it probably has to be secondhand or something because the truth is these hoodies are like $2,000. Like $2,000 for a hoodie. So this will remain on my wish list for probably forever because even if I make a bazillion dollars, hoodie for $2,000 just doesn't sit right with me. And lastly, number five, this is the most expensive of them all, but this is something that I've wanted for a very long time, probably over 10 years now, but I just never could pull the trigger. Maybe I'll never pull the trigger at all. And what I'm talking about is an Eames, or Ames, however you wanna pronounce it, lounge chair. This is quite iconic. I mean, you've probably seen it a bunch. It's like this leather chair with a wooden back. So I think it's maybe mahogany, and it has uh, an ottoman as well that's connected to it. And then you just kinda, sit there, it's a one person chair, and you bask in the glory of $5,500.
This is the reason I can't seem to get it. I mean, $5,500, yes, it's a nice piece of hardware and furniture, but good God, like, mm. There are knockoffs out there, but you kind of want the real thing, right? And so that is one that has been on my list for a very long time. Maybe one day when I truly, truly make it, like that'll be in my home as a display piece, but Eames lounge chair is the fifth on my list. I don't know if this is fun or not. I mean, people all have these wish lists. In case you were just curious about my wish list, here's five items from it. Maybe I'll do another video because I, I, I have other things I want as well. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for humoring me and watching this weird video, but I'm Mark Kwok. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.